What's up guys, welcome back to Cubold. I think I'm just gonna jump right into it. I've been harshly criticized for rambling way too much, so I think I'm gonna just uh, jump right into it. That said, I believe I have uh, every type of special item in the game as of right now, and uh, I think I'm gonna do a quick cover over what these uh, items do. So, starting with a boat. Oh, this feels like a chase right now. Starting with a boat. This is one useful item really now. Um... The, the places I've uh, used to find boats in are usually ponds, so you could feel free and look uh, on your map. So I found the uh, boats in uh, four different zones so far. Three of the zones had ponds, such as this, uh, this one right here. The boat was found in the uh, middle of the Colon Lake, it was sitting uh, right above the water. The other boat I found was uh, in yet another lake, as, uh, as you'd expect, it was, uh, this time it was actually sitting on a pond of some sort. That uh, wooden structure right there, right in the middle. But they also got a chance of spawning on islands. For example, if you are to visit a water-themed world, you may uh, encounter such a boat directly sitting on the shore of uh, such an island. That said, let me show you why this boat is so, so useful when traveling around. I gotta find some uh, body of water nearby. Yeah, this is perfect. This is gonna do. This is gonna be a, a perfect showcase right here. There you go. Just, just check the speed. It's so much faster than walking. I think it's even faster than uh, if you was to use your mount, which we're gonna cover in a second. See the speed. Yeah, this is. Sh should this be considered as the fastest traveling method? Oh, I don't know. I don't know just yet. Could even be faster than the glider if. You had a straight line of water like I do in this case. It's probably the fastest way to get from here to there um, using a boat, right? This is probably the fastest method. And the speed of the boat is, of course, influenced by your uh, artifacts. As a matter of fact, I think I got a plus one to my sailing speed because I got a specific artifact. And that's how you can increase your uh, boat speed. Right, moving on. Let me see what I got next in my collection right there. Uh, I got... Why can I not access the other... Uh... I think I crossed the border or something in the meantime because a bunch of items uh, just disappeared. Anyway, we got the uh, reins as the next item and this is once again uh, a pretty useful item. It's basically gonna allow you to uh, ride your own pet, which is rather convenient because this is once more a uh, slight speed increase and once more if you have artifacts that, uh, that are basically gonna increase your riding speed, that's gonna be even uh, even better for you. As for how does it feel riding a mount, well definitely slightly faster than uh, if you was to walk around. Uh, it's cooler definitely. R imagine I got some uh, I got some slightly interesting mounts right here, such as the uh, crocodile. Well yeah, riding a crocodile is definitely much more fun than riding a uh, dog, isn't it? Anyway, uh, the ways you can find such reins, well, it's pretty simple once more, though it could be quite random. For example, in this area, the rain was sitting in uh, in plain sight. It was in some uh, wooden area. I should, I should have mentioned this from the get-go. Talk to as many NPCs as you can. They're definitely gonna offer clues on where these items are located on your map. So just make sure you take your time and approach every single NPC. They are likely to give you some clues on uh, various items. Yeah, since I haven't uh, figured out a standardized way of uh, these uh, rains, I mean, they seem to be spawning quite randomly, usually in the plains. There's gonna be some footage in the background on places I've spotted these uh, rains in. Uh, same with the boat, right? Uh, they may differ from case to case. That said, we should probably move on to the next special item and uh, explain why it does. That's the Divine Harp. Now, this item is used in opening some special golden doors that you cannot pass through otherwise. Having this item is basically gonna allow you to open that uh, golden doors as I said previously, so pretty much allowing you to get better loot. There may be uh, structures spread in the world that have uh, random golden doors, or you can even encounter golden doors within dungeons that lead to your artifact. You know the dungeons that have artifacts at the end, but uh, oftentimes spread or rather branch into multiple rooms. Yeah, oftentimes you may encounter golden doors that have to be opened, or you should open them to get some extra gold or uh, better gear. In the background right now should be some examples of uh, places where I found divine harps in. Next item in my collection here is the uh, Sky Whistle. This is uh, once more pretty useful, it allows you to access some floating islands that may occur in your zone. 
As a matter of fact, I think every single zone has a uh, has such a floating island. Anyway, uh, you gotta find it first. Once more, the places are rather random. I also found the flute in uh, in a uh, in a forest, uh, in some plains. Yeah, footage of that should be in the background right now. And once more, what it does is uh, basically gonna allow you to uh, fly. Well, the animation is rather interesting. Uh, this should also be in the background right now. You're gonna use the flute next to a bird statue, and uh, some uh, birds, some small tiny birds, are gonna bring you up an island where you can find stuff like uh, loot. Well, goodies basically. <laughs> Right, what do I have next? The spirit bell is likely, I mean, it's got a similar behavior as the divine harp, as in it's gonna allow you to pass through some uh, gates. Same exact mechanic at core, it's gonna get you, uh, it's gonna basically allow you to uh, get some loot within dungeons, within uh, various structures that spawn uh, within your zone. Different behavior though, which is rather interesting, it's gonna get you a passive. Oh, should I even call it a passive? It's a weird transformation. It's gonna turn you into a spirit state, right? For one minute, so you can basically no clip through gates and get your loot. Let me see, what do I have next? Legendary Book of Crafting, and this actually branches into multiple, there's also an epic one, there's, there's pretty much a crafting book for every rarity, I believe. I got the best one right here, which is gonna allow me, once uh, once obtained, uh, this uh, item in your inventory is gonna allow you to craft golden items. As you can see right there, I can craft the white ones by default, but I need the book to get the golden ones. Not every time the golden ones are gonna be better than random drops you find on the, on, on the, uh, well, while exploring, should I say. <laughs> but in one case, uh, finding one such legendary book allowed me to craft one extremely strong bow having like, I don't know, 175 damage by default if I recall correctly. So these are very useful to have if you are unlucky with drops. Right, because you can craft your uh, craft your own weapon. I gotta say these are rather expensive, so I'm not sure how uh, how much of a uh, deal this is, other than farming. Yeah, but get it if you can. It's uh, it's gonna help. And guys, the final item I have in here after uh, exploring the world for like 30 hours is the climbing spikes. One useful item indeed, uh, once more it, spans, it spawns in uh, weird environments, I've even found it inside a random house. It was called a farm or something. Anyway, footage of that in the background. Uh, it's gonna basically allow you, this item is gonna basically allow you to climb infinitely. No more stamina getting used, no more nothing, you just climb and climb and climb. Once more the speed of climbing can be improved using an artifact that does uh, just that. It's gonna improve with that uh, climbing uh, speed stat. And since we're on the topic of uh, climbing, I may as well show you a tip. You can climb uh, pretty much anything that's even got something like this, uh, which is a ledge going uh, one block uh, on the outside, right? Let me show you. This is easily approachable if you do this. See how easy it is? I mean, it's pretty convenient. I've even done a video uh, showing this tip to easily sell arenas, you know, the arenas that spawn. Oh god, I'm rambling again. Anyway, next special item I wanna show you guys is the hand glider, which, uh, well, it's no surprise here, that's what it says, it's gonna glide, right? Uh, it's a little bit tricky to use, I had to, <laughs> I had to have a few practice runs before I went, uh, before I fully mastered it. Anyway, let's just jump and all you have to do is press E, then press W, and uh, if you wanna get a lift off like I just did, press your space bar. As you can probably notice, it's gonna use some uh, stamina, but yeah, it's eventually gonna run out and uh, you will have to land, but it's definitely useful for traveling longer amounts of uh, terrain. Just uh, pay attention while dismounting it, I usually press shift not to get uh, stunned, otherwise if I was to fully drop I would get stunned, so just just try and uh, ease down and press shift or you could, you could just land like I just did there, otherwise if you come uh, really quick towards the ground you are gonna get uh, stunned. And this is pretty much it, I should probably kill all these but I doubt I have, no I'm in a world and I don't even have gear for this, C could I possibly? Yeah, that was a good plan. Right, anyway guys, this has been all the special items. Hopefully this video was uh, helpful to you. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you did not already. And uh, I will see you on the next one.